Um, social inclusion uh, is in action here at Wallara and Winteringham and what's, um, what's catered for here is ex exactly what um, the whole inclusion agenda is about, is about giving people the opportunity to be uh, connected, um, to be able to collaborate and support with each other, but also to celebrate life. Um, and I, I'm actually the founder of Social Inclusion Week, which is the last week of November every year. That's uh, uh, a grassroots initiative that I created to help the public understand more about what social inclusion means in that language, which is quite verbose, I suppose, in many ways. But more than that, um, that we all have to play a role in helping to make sure that those people who can't help themselves often are supported by other people in the community because we can't always rely uh, on government um, to, to do that work uh, at the deepest grassroots level and I think it's um, the responsibility of, of every person um, to be able to do what they can to help support people immediately around them to feel that they're engaged and connected and can really make uh, a valuable contribution back to community. The music is a, a universal language, you know, and it doesn't matter what national, nationality you are or how old you are or what your religious belief you might be, it's a communication tool that everybody um, can share. And I've seen situations where people um, speak totally different languages and are not able to communicate through spoken word, but through music that they're actually really able to engage on quite a deep emotional level too. And I'd be delighted to look at bringing the Choir of Hard Knocks or Choir of Hope and Inspiration, as they're now known, back um, to the ne dinner next year. But I'd really like to try and I think work with, uh, with Wintringham and Wallara here to help perhaps create your own choir so maybe that, that they can both sing together. I think that would be a really great celebration.